All right, let's do some Indian questions while I wait for my kids at the doctors. We're going to get right into case study. So head into my V2 and create an Indian case study. Let's go six questions right now. The client was brought to the ED by the client's husband due to shortness of breath this morning. The husband reported that the client has observed fatigue and weakness of the body most of the day. Client has a history of hypertension and complains of less urine output for the past week. Vital signs, temp 101, uh, pulse 89, respirations 23, blood pressure 161 over 96. Pulse ox is at 96% on three liters of O2 via nasal cannula. On assessment, we note irregularities of the heartbeat, swelling of both legs, skin is slightly cool to the touch, pale pink in tone, pulses is three plus, but irregular, cap refill is three seconds. The client is alert and oriented to time. When I look at the orders, we have several orders here, start IV fluids, peripheral normal saline solution, one liter at KVO, labs are here, administer furosemide, 20 milligrams IV, and strengthening exercises, possible dialysis. All right. So these are our orders for the patient, the nurse's notes. So the first question here, this is a multiple matrix. It says for each client finding below, click to specify if the finding is consistent with the disease process of acute renal failure or renal calculi. All right, each finding may support more than one disease. So oliguria, is that renal calculi or acute renal failure? Low urine output. What do you guys think? I'm going to go with both. I'm going to go with both here. All right. Shortness of breath, uh, that's definitely going to be noted with acute renal failure, edema, swelling, acute renal failure. Let's go with that. Mm, I'm debating about renal calculi. What about nausea? What do you say? Uh, renal calculi or acute renal failure? Let's go with both and let's see how we do. This is one of six, so uh, we'll get the answer in a minute. All right, so this is a differential diagnosis between renal calculi and acute renal failure. With next-gen NCLEX, you're going to have to be able to do this, okay? Two, this is a highlight question. Click to highlight the orders that should be considered a priority. Okay, so these are the same orders that we saw in the electronic health records. So let me select the IV fluids, labs, and furosemide, Okay. And then so like once you select it and you click the highlight button at the bottom here in the um, in the V2, it'll highlight it for you. I'm not going to do the strengthening exercises or prepare for possible dialysis. I don't think they're a priority right now. OK, this is a matrix question for each assessment finding. Click to specify if the finding indicates the client's condition has improved or worsened. OK, so you're an output of 10. That's definitely worse. OK, if I go back up here. The patient already had decreased urine output, so urine output is worse. Edema is also worse. Elevated BUN, elevated creatinine, those are all bad signs. Here, this is the select in, so they give you the number that you're selecting that require immediate follow-up. So it'll tell you there's four options. So less urine output, shortness of breath, swelling, and weakness of the body. Those are all worse. And so uh, for five here, it says the client is at highest risk for... Acute renal failure is what I'm going with. What do you guys say? I think it's acute renal failure. Okay, and six, this is another matrix question where we're looking at possible nursing interventions and we have to select whether the intervention is indicated or not indicated. So assess client vital signs. That is going to be um, indicated here. Weigh daily, encourage intake of food high in potassium, monitor intake and output. All right, so... This is another, again, multi, uh, matrix question. So we're looking at whether these things are to be done or not to be done, indicated or not indicated. So I'm going to go with indicated for the vital signs, daily, daily ways, and then monitor intake and output. All right. And let's roll and let's check our answers here. VT.Remar nurse. So... Uh, we did get that correct when it looked at the orders. We clicked all of the right orders. We also did very good with the um, differential diagnosis. So oliguria was for both, shortness of breath, edema, nausea. That was there. And you guys can read over the rationales. I got to go quickly. And we also did this one correctly too. All of those symptoms were worse 
sinning condition. So the edema, elevated labs, decreased urine output. We got that one right. Yay. These questions aren't so bad after all. I actually prefer them. The four findings. I like when they tell me how many answers I should be choosing instead of select all that apply. So we did, uh, we did that one right. Didn't choose the diarrhea. Much better. Rationales can be there to be read. And then indicated, not indicated. We also got all of these right as well. So assessing client vital signs, that was correct. Way daily, that was correct. Encouraging food high in potassium, not going to be indicated. And then monitoring intake and output, that was correct as well. So we are doing good. And I think if we just kept in mind what we thought the client had based off the nurse's notes and the orders, this was giving very acute renal failure condition. So we said that the patient was the highest risk for acute renal failure over chronic or renal calculi or sickle cell anemia. So we did pretty good, guys. Good job today for this case study. The more of these that we do together, the easier they will be, the quicker you will get for NCLEX. You're going to pass NCLEX. You can, you will, you must. I'm so excited for you. I'll see you for the next one. Kids say bye. <laughs>